Welcome to Rio Tinto Borates and Lithium. Behind these gates is the largest open pit mine in California. And it's here that we mine and process for nearly the last 100 years to make essential materials for modern life. In addition to the haul trucks that are the size of a two-story house and the shovels that are seven stories high, today you'll meet all of our people that are most critical to make our products happen. We have electricians, welders, various operators and maintainers, engineers, and a whole bunch of scientists that help us produce our materials every day. Please join me for a tour of borates and lithium, and hopefully at the end of the day, you understand our business a little bit better. Rio Tinto Borates and Lithium is located in the Mojave Desert, just north of the small community of Boron, California. The mine has been in operation since 1923, first as an underground mine and later as the open pit mine you see today. The mine has grown since our humble beginnings, but one thing remains the same. You have to keep the trucks moving to keep the operation running. So. Today, we'll begin our tour in the truck shop, where mechanical experts work on some of the largest equipment in the world. Each day in the truck shop, it's unique, different, dynamic. We work on anything from a pickup truck to a big loader like you see behind me. We've got about 65 journeyman mechanics that work on track dozers, excavators, haul trucks, all kinds of different equipment. We work around a lot of big, dangerous equipment, but everybody takes the time to be safe and look out for everybody. Working in the truck shop is essential to the operation, but so is actually driving a haul truck. To understand just how big our haul trucks are, imagine a two-story house driving past you on the road. But the funny thing is, due to their sheer size and weight, you'll never actually see one on a public roadway. These modern-day mules travel on mine site roadways, transporting ore from the bottom of the pit the processing plants up top. Our trucks run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So in the 1800s, it used to take the 20 mule team one week just to haul 20 tons of ore from Death Valley to Mojave in order to just make one product. Today, it takes us less than an hour to haul 270 tons of material in order to make 16 products. So we've definitely come a long way. We do work 24-7, 365 days a year. So everybody has a good time, works hard, and is safe. We use explosives to blast the material from the ground. We have two shovels and three loaders that help us mine that material. And we have the haul truck fleet, uh, 13 of them, that we use to take that material from the pit out to the surface where the ore gets crushed and the waste goes to the dumps. We are typically able to mine about 3 million tons of ore a year and 30 million tons of waste per year as well. Keeping people safe while mining borates is vital to the operation. One of the ways we do that is through an extensive high wall monitoring system. What is a high wall, you ask? Well, high walls are the man-made walls surrounding the open pit. Each wall or bench is approximately 50 feet tall. There are 16 walls, one on top of another, from top to bottom, all the way around the pit. It is very important for us to monitor the stability of the walls to ensure they remain stable. When high walls are carefully monitored, wall failures can be prevented. Here at Boron, we have a whole bunch of geotechnical monitoring systems, and probably the star system we have would be our radars. We have three different radars across the pit, one just over here, one straight across, and, and one over on the northeast side. Together, they cost about a million and a half dollars. And they allow us to see the entire surface of the mine. I think we're watching about 90% of it at any given time. And we can track movement rates within the mine down to millimeters in a day. It's very accurate. As we watch the mine areas, we're able to see very small rates of movement and we can watch those rates and if there's any change we start to see acceleration we know that the wall might become unstable and we can evacuate personnel safety is the number one priority here not just for me and for geotech but for all of the mine as you can see it's a 900 foot hole we have behind us that's a lot of high wall and a lot of places we can have movement we want to make sure that the people working down below these areas 
are safe and able to go home every night. So now you've seen a little bit behind the gate. You're probably wondering what refined borates are used for. Well, you're about to find out they're in hundreds of products that we all use every day. From cell phones, to laundry detergent, to agriculture that puts food on our tables, all the way through to wind turbine blades. But the real question, how does it go from being a rock in the ground to a product out the door? Let's take a look. We take the large ore that the mine is bringing up and we crush that or smash that down into much smaller bite-sized chunks of material. We dissolve that with hot liquid. We then clean it up, we cool it, we dry it, and we package it. For the shipping department, some customers take the material as bulk and some customers take the material as bag material. We also work really close with maintenance crews in the broadcast plant electrical department and we have a fair bit of interaction with the mining department and shipping. Everybody works really closely together and for the most part sort of a second family out here. The mine employs people with a variety of skill sets. We hire welders, electricians, forklift operators, mechanics, carpenters, haul drivers, and many others with unique specialties. These employees work hard behind the scenes to keep the lights on. Our electricians keep the lights on. So what we do is we work with a range of 24 volt all the way up to 115 kVA. And so we work with our cogeneration plant, which we produce our own power, and we keep the majority of that in-house, but we also send it to our neighboring communities to help them keep their lights on. So when you're doing electrical, you can't really see electrical. You can't see the electrons moving around. So what happens is guys have to don all their PPE and do our method of live dead live. Our electricians are trained to test for voltage on something in a relevant state and then they test to make sure what they're working on is dead and then they test their meter again for a second time to verify that it truly is working accurately. Electrical is just one of the maintenance roles at the mine. As you'll see, there are many more. Maintenance is important because we keep this place running. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, this place is operating and we are an essential key to predictive maintenance and maintaining equipment, inspections, rebuilds, uh, weld repair, plant expansions, we, we do it all. So we're, uh, we're a huge heartbeat of this operation for sure. Out here we have a motto and it's team success is the only success. And so we do a lot of linking arms and we do a lot of dot connecting. And my personal motto is, is that we make magic happen out here at Rio Tinto. So that's what we do. So the maintenance team keeps the operation operational. The quality and shipping departments make sure that our products are consistently produced and delivered on time, every time. Well, this makes our company so interesting. We're literally in people's houses. People still buy 20 Mule Team Borax on the shelf. We get letters from grandmas in Ohio. And then we also talk to uh, vice presidents and presidents of some of the largest companies in the world. So we have one of the largest ranges of customers you can have. We test the physical and chemical properties of almost everything to do with our business. So from the rocks coming out of the pit, the original ore, we test its chemical composition. We test all of the intermediate steps in the process, so the health and well-being of our factories. And then we test our final product uh, one last time before we ever send it out to a customer. First, you know, our customers really care about consistency. Uh, we often say, you know, in our business, quality means consistency. If you're designing a factory to make glass, you care very much that uh, even if there are some impurities, that they're the same thing every time. Purity is also important. And so uh, having lower amounts of impurities is really, really important for products like, for example, your cell phone. So having a little bit of sodium in our anhydrous boric acid product, for example, it interferes with how your finger interacts with your cell phone. And so it doesn't transmit the signal as well. And so we try to keep the sodium very low in that product. Our customers have come to rely on our high quality products for a wide range of applications. In fact, we supply 30% of the world's need for refined borates. Getting it to our customers? Well, that's up to the shipping department. As far as my team is concerned, the good quality is a matter of my behavior, the behavior of the crew, and how we focus on making sure the product is out to the customer and that the customer's order is perfect every time it's sent out. 
Everything we do here is customer based, whether it's, it's going to a warehouse or whether it's going directly to a customer. So a lot of our product goes to China, Japan, Korea, Brazil, Spain, Portugal, it's all over the world. Our product is everywhere. The borate side of our borates and lithium business has been around for a very long time. The lithium side of our business continues to evolve. So you see, we'd heard some mines in the area had found gold in their waste material. And with decades of mining, we went looking for gold. We didn't find any. What we did find was lithium. And since then, our teams have been working tirelessly to produce a lithium product we can sell. We found that we had a lithium in our waste stream. So we scrambled and we put together a team to determine how we would process that. And in that time, we've built a, the lithium demo plant behind me, which is a 10 ton per year plant to be able to extract lithium from our waste stream and convert it into battery grade lithium carbonate. Being able to produce battery grade lithium would enable us to enter the growing renewable and sustainable energy market whilst extending our mine life and recycling the waste streams that we've already mined. Nothing of this sort was done before. There was no blueprint. Again, uh, we are trying to extract lithium from our waste pile. Uh, so there is really no recipe you can find online or, or you know, through, uh, through other engineering companies. So we had to really engineer this. The big challenge for us was to put it all together and make it work for us, right? Make it work to produce lithium. So again, nothing but a sense of huge amount of respect for everybody in the team. We couldn't have done it with just one person. This is a complete team effort. They set up before. We didn't have no drawings. We didn't have nothing, right? But what we did have, we did have a group of talented people, from process engineers to operators to maintainers, you know, mechanical and electrical and controls. We took a group of people, we sought their input, and with that, the payback, after you get the input from everybody and action their ideas and make them good, the payback is uh, ownership, accountability, and pride. Another major part of our borates and lithium team can be found 150 miles away in Wilmington, California, at the Port of Los Angeles. Here at this iconic facility, products are further refined and shipped all over the world. So what you'll typically see when you come on site in Wilmington is we have two small refineries. One refinery will make a zinc borate, which is boric acid from boron and the zinc oxide that comes from various different vendors. Typically, you'll load a, a ship once a month. One ship will usually go to Asia, one ship will usually go to Europe, and that's every other month. We'll offload anywhere to two to 300 rail cars that are in the pipeline at any given time to get these ships completed. Being that I've come from the mine itself and, I've, and started working in Wilmington, I've had the opportunity to see a lot of the rich culture and history that comes along with the business. We're pretty iconic in the harbor, being that we've been down here in the port since 1923. For myself personally, it means a lot to work for a great company that puts out a great product with a good label. Thank you for joining us today. As you can tell, it takes a lot of people to mine, process, package, and ship our Boreads products all over the world. That also takes different skills, education, and different types of people. Hopefully one day soon, you'll be able to join us on site, either as our guest or maybe even a future employee. I absolutely love working here. This is one of the best places I've ever worked. I love working at RTBL. I have a tremendous amount of pride to be able to work alongside some of these people. Some of the best in the industry that I've been with. It's a great company to work for. I love to be surrounded by the people that I'm surrounded by. It's like a second family out here. Rio Tinto is not just a mining company, they're a safety company. And so as we talk about what we do as a business, we look at everything first with safety involved. As long as you have the ability to come and work safe and you have a desire to learn, we'll, we'll teach you everything you need to know. I love working here. And everybody takes pride in their work. And so being around that is incredibly inspiring and rewarding. The last two and a half years, I've run the plant mechanically and electrically where my grandpa used to work. So I have a lot of pride vested in this place. And I would say that that brand behind me, it really means a lot to us working here.